Yep, got another one. Okay, so it's a C250 2013 and it's got the steering lock issue. Uh, this time, the steering wheel is not locked. You can actually, you can actually turn the steering wheel. So it got uh, stuck in the unlocked position, which is uh, rare. It's, uh, it doesn't happen too often. I've seen it probably 15 times out of, geez, there's almost a thousand of these. So um, pretty rare, but it is convenient because you can get this to start. Um, if, uh, if you have this situation, you can actually drive the car uh, because it's unlocked. Uh, but I don't recommend doing this. I don't recommend doing this uh, for a long period of time because I have seen that uh, starting the vehicle in the method I'm about to show you, uh, I don't know if it's just getting into the front SAM or jumping the SAM the way that we're gonna do it, but I've seen many customers who have done this for an extended period of time and it ruined their front SAM. They had to, uh, they had to get new SAMs, new front SAMs, new fuse boxes okay, in the front. Uh, so don't do it often, just do it if you really need to uh, use your vehicle uh, to move it to a shop or to get it uh, someplace where you can work on it yourself, someplace safe. Uh, don't do it you know, for, for, for months at a time or even weeks at a time. You'll mess up your front SAM, you'll mess up some electricals. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do this in a minute. But yeah, this is the, uh, the steering lock issue. We've got take key from ignition, the door is open. And when the door is closed, that goes away, right? That's just a reminder, it's always there. Open the door and it says take key from ignition, okay? That's just to remind you to remove your key from the ignition when you're leaving the vehicle, all right? Okay, so let's, uh, let's show you how to do this, how to get this started with your steering wheel unlocked. If you are lucky enough to, uh, I say lucky, I mean, it's, it's never lucky when your steering lock goes out because it's gonna cost you some money to get it fixed, but uh, it's better this way than in the lock position. At least this way you can move your car using the method I'm about to show you. So with the key at ignition two, so I'm gonna stick the key in the ignition, turn it one, two, two times, leave it there, okay? Now, we're gonna go into the front SAM and fuse box. Just uh, unclip it and it comes right out, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove that 7.5 fuse in the back for a few seconds. See that one right there? That one there, 7.5. We're gonna remove that, okay? okay. Just gonna pull it out for a few seconds and then Stick it back in. Okay. The starter, this is the starter relay. Pull this out. You don't have to take this cover off. Just take a, uh, a wire or a paper clip. I keep this wire around. It's just a standard 12 gauge wire, uh, copper wire, and I've flattened the heads so that they'll fit inside these slots. And you're going to use this slot over here and this slot over here. Okay. That's pins 87 and 30. And when you short these two pins, motor starts and now you can drive it uh, you don't have to take the top of the relay off you're going to ruin your relay uh, not that they're expensive but it's more work and it's easier just to stick a wire in there now remember your jumping pins 87 and 30 that's going to be this one over here on top and complete opposite in the different direction that's 87 and 30, okay? You short those two and it will start up. 